Officials at Penn State University shut down a speaking event with Alex Stein and Gavin McGinnis after a literal army of angry leftists show up to protest the event and you guys, things get completely out of control. Before we jump into this story for today, this video is brought to you by jamesclude.com. You guys, I need your help if you'd like to support my channel and help us go out there and change more minds by creating content that combats the mainstream media narrative. Head on over to jamesclude.com slash members and please consider becoming a monthly member today for as little as one cup of coffee. You can also hit the join button right below this video. Let's go ahead and jump into this story. We have from the Daily Mail. And by the way, things just get totally out of control. Um, <laughs> it's, it's shocking what happens. Shocking moment. Penn State student spits on conservative activist. Campus comedy event by Proud Boys founder Gavin McGinnis. He's not associated with them anymore is canceled after protests erupt. Um, this girl, Kylie Thomas, on Twitter, did a great job covering the day's uh, events, but this video right here is how you deal with this just insane mob. Alex Stein goes out to this crowd that's protesting his event, and watch how he handles them. <laughs> I'm so scared. That that is exactly how you're supposed to handle these this this lunacy. These people are going up to his face screaming at him at the top of his lungs and his response is just to be absurd. Trolling him. I mean, he's totally mocking him. He's he <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you guys. So, um, and, and disclaimer, there are a lot of swear words. I'm going to do my best to uh, bleep out everything. Uh, it might take me a while. But this is how you respond to these absolute psychos trying to shut down your speech, shut down your event. They say, no, we don't like this person. This person says what the mob disproves of. Uh, we're going to show up and we're gonna make sure that we cause enough ruckus to shut down your free speech. That's how, <laughs> how Alex is responding to this absurdity is exactly how you should respond. So, as you saw with this headline over here, students spitting on conservative activists. This girl has the, uh, the nerve to spit on Alex Stein while he's recording. Penn State cutie. Protester spits on primetime 99. Alex Stein tweets out. Now, they're swearing a bunch. I'll play a few seconds of this video with audio, and then we'll cut it out. It's you. You're my You're favorite. You. Oh, you. Are you are the reason. You, you, she said, you are the reason why I can't feel safe in this town. These people are absolutely melting down because of words. And uh, this anti-fascist is here to shut down this this speech. Make sure that uh, make sure that speech that the mob doesn't approve of is not being said. Obviously, <laughs> Alex Stein uh, behaving like Alex Stein does. You know, Alex is a he's a right wing troll that has grown his platform, cracking jokes, trolling city council meetings, all of that stuff. It's, it's just a tough look to be this serious with, <laughs> with a guy <laughs> that's, that's uh, responding in this way. So anyways, this um, intolerant college student, I'll cut out the audio, ends up spitting on Alex Stein. Yeah, that's, that's assault. Um, I might blur that out. It's she has it's way too much spit. I don't know what's going on there. It's disgusting. It's hard to look at. Uh, it's obviously unacceptable. And shortly after this, Alex ends up tweeting that his event gets canceled. You know, this mob, this angry left wing mob, showed up to do one thing, and that was to shut him down. Do not let him speak. And they were successful. Alex tweets, Penn State shut down my speech on campus today. Free speech doesn't exist for conservatives. Now, um, on campuses, popular conservatives that are coming to speak at these events, uh, they're not the only ones at risk. They're not the only ones that had to spend 
tens of thousands of dollars on security or the school ends up having to pay tens of thousands of dollars on security because the left-wing students are completely intolerant of, of viewpoints that they just disagree with. Um, but it's also a danger to students showing up. There's countless stories of students showing up to speak events where students are getting things thrown at them as they're entering and leaving the speaking events. So it can get really dangerous really quick. And you guys, this isn't even, I mean, it gets, it gets, this, this day gets so much worse. But before we jump into the day just getting more and more crazy, JVT Entertainment posted this montage. I'm going to skip past her spitting on him. <laughs> um, but Alex Stein ends up retweeting this saying, absolute mayhem and chaos at Penn State University with the most mentally insane college students in America. Um, we have to watch this montage. It's four minutes. I'm going to skip through it. We're not going to watch the whole thing, but it does give you a pretty good idea of what's going on throughout the day with a nice little music added to it. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I'm honored to fight you. I am too, guys. I'm prime time 99. Uh, I just want to say you guys. And I'll, I'll be careful with the audio. I know I turned it down. Um, I'll, I'll make sure I'm careful with the audio. It gets totally blown out right here. But this is how Alex is responding to this mob looking to shut him down. Our poor representation of the youth of our nation. You are a poor representation of the youth of our nation. <laughs> and, and they and they absolutely lose it. It's it's so out of control. I'll cut out audio right here just to make sure I don't have to censor everything. Uh, uh make me blur. This is right after that young student spit on Alex. Very disgusting stuff. Now Alex ends up finding this microphone. Um, not sure exactly where this came from. <laughs> Hello. Hey guys, I'm no, no, 99 no, Alex Stein. No, I'm on the grind. No, Thank you guys for being here. I'm not scared of anybody here. And then they end the day with a police escort. Event shut down. Leftists get their way. Uh, Alex Stein and Gavin McGinnis have to be escorted off the premise by police officers. And... Although Alex does it in a very funny way, this is very serious and this is something that we're seeing literally all the time. Uh, that night, according to the Post Millennial, police on horseback are called in during a riot at Penn State in response to right-wing comedian Alex Stein appearing on campus. So they appear on these, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna play audio just because so, mu so much swearing at the police officers all these leftist students flipping them off, everything like that. They show up on horseback when it comes to like riot control because they can see over the crowd easily. Another Twitter post from the Post Millennial, police on horseback push back leftist protesters at Penn State in response to right-wing comedian Alex Stein appearing on campus. We have them pushing back the crowd. So these students stayed out there seemingly almost you know, the whole night causing a ruckus on campus all because a right-wing troll that says he's a pimp on a blimp, not even joking, that's one of his quotes, showed up to speak at their campus. Lunacy. Absolute lunacy. And the way that Alex has, has responded here to this absolute lunacy <laughs> is 100% appropriate. Absolutely appropriate. So um, I wanted to point out really quick, on Sunday night, we had uh, Matt Walsh speaking at the University of Wisconsin, and they ended up coming out with a uh, response to him speaking at the school saying, you know, we're aware, quote, here's a post on Instagram. We are aware that a speaker is coming to campus on Monday whose viewpoints we believe are harmful toward our trans community. We feel the impact this is having on our campus. And we wanted to reach out. They do a couple other posts. They say, we value you. We love you. 
uh, signed Christina, she, her, hers, Gabe, signed he, him, his. And Penn State also responded, and I don't know if they responded on social media, but according to the Daily Mail, they said, and I'll read one part of it just because it stood out to me and it was much different than um, Wisconsin University's, University of Wisconsin's um, response. And they had said that, you know, the university has been clear that the views and speech of the two speakers at tonight's student organization hosted are uh, not aligned with the values of Penn State. Okay, fine. Uh, probably don't need to say that. They just don't need to say that they, you know, they don't have a stance on it or it's, you know, they have every right to say that. But the important part is they follow up with this. We have encouraged peaceful protests. And while protest is an acceptable means of expression, it becomes unacceptable when it obstructs the basic exchange of ideas. Such, uh, such obstruction is a form of censorship, no matter who initiates it for what reason or for what reasons. Um, that is at least respectable. But here's what they should be telling these students, right? What they should be telling these students is you're here to receive higher education. And a part of that higher education is you have to learn how to deal with other adult human beings who disagree with you without whining, without complaining, without rioting like a little baby. That's what they should be saying. You're here to, to not only learn whatever you're trying to learn, but also how to learn how to survive in the real world. You're not going to be coddled your whole life. And what we're seeing universities doing all over the United States is coddling these people to where they're responding to a guy saying he's a pimp on a blimp, saying, you're the reason why I can't, you're the reason why I can't be safe at night because this, because, because of this guy. With instances like this speech being canceled, becoming more and more common on college campuses, it's really going to show that college campuses are creating this new generation of students that aren't looking to engage in dialogue. They're just looking to shut it down altogether. Let me know what you guys think about all of this craziness going on. Let me know what you think about this video. Also, let me know how you guys think Alex Stein handled this situation, handled these crazy protesters down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and hit that bell notification button so you don't miss any future uploads. I'll catch you guys next time.